Results are in for the Knoxville mayoral primary. Eddie Manis and India Kincannon are moving on to the November regular election. They are in our studio now. That's right. Yvonne Thomas is live with a closer look at the results and what is next for those candidates and the people also running for city council. Good morning, Yvonne. Abby Russell, good morning. That's absolutely right. From six candidates now to two that are getting ready for that runoff in November. Eddie Manis and India Kincannon will face off against each other for that November election. Let's take a look at those election results from the primaries that we had last night. Manis led the way with most votes, taking more than 37% of the total. Kincannon ended the night with about 29%. And Marshall Stair was a close third, getting almost 27% of the vote. He lost to Kincannon by just over 400 votes. So here's what what you need to know about the two final candidates. Eddie Manis is a businessman, the founder of Honor Air Knoxville, and worked as chief operating officer for current Knoxville Mayor Madeline Rojero early in her first term. Manis says one of his top priorities is focusing on economic development and job growth. He also says his experience with past budgets and team building is what sets him apart from his opponent. Now on to India Kincannon. She is the former Knox County Board of Education member who has also worked in Mayor Madeline Rojero's administration as special program manager. Kincannon says her top priority is housing and she wants to continue Mayor Rojero's work on financing for project developers who want to build new low income and affordable housing. She also hopes to connect young people to more opportunities in the workforce. Now here's a look at the key precincts for each candidate. This map now shows the ones for Eddie Manis, which are mostly in Fountain City. They include Norwood Elementary School, Shenandoah Elementary School, and he is from that area. And also, India Kincannon had the strongest turnout in North Knoxville and closer to downtown. Her precincts include the John T. O'Connor Center, Central United Methodist Church, and Christenberry Community Center. Now, as for the city council races, only one is seeing the field of candidates narrow. Amelia Parker and Amy Midas will move on to the general election for at-large seat C. Parker got most of the votes, but almost 30 percent, about 136 votes separated her and Midas. Bob Thomas finished in a close third with with more than 26% of the vote. But one interesting thing about the city council that we will see regardless of the outcome of this new election and that runoff in November is that it looks like mainly of the city council members will be women. But for now, we'll send things back over to you guys in the studio. All right, Yvonne Thomas, thanks very much. Well, another news.